going to meet the eastern box turtle, the yellow-bellied slider, and a loggerhead sea turtle, and we're going to discuss their adaptations related to their environment. While each of these three animals we will investigate are turtles, you will see that turtles come in many forms with different adaptations to suit their niche and their particular ecosystem. When I say the word ecosystem, what comes to mind? Write down as many words as you can think of that may be included in a turtle's ecosystem. First, let's take a look at the eastern box turtle, North Carolina's state reptile. Turtles are covered in a shell. The shell is a bone, just like our bones, made of calcium. And this shell is covered in a layer of scales. Turtle scales are called scutes. What do you think a turtle uses its shell for? They use their shell in a few different ways, but the primary thing is for protection and camouflage. Box turtles are the only kind of turtle that can fully go into their shell and close up nice and tightly to hide from their predators. The blend of brown and yellow on the box turtle shell will also help them hide from predators when there are leaves on the ground in the forest or if they are semi-buried. This type of turtle is a terrestrial turtle, meaning it lives on land as opposed to water. He is adapted to living on land. Look at his legs, feet, and nails. His feet and nails are most adapted for walking and digging. His feet are not webbed, but he has individual toes. The nails are blunt, which are much better for digging. What do you think he likes to dig for? Worms! Eastern box turtles are opportunistic omnivores, meaning they will pretty much consume anything they come across, like invertebrates or worms, veggies, and berries that the forest floor naturally provides. In the food chain, box turtles are an important consumer. They are also an important source of food for many predators in the forest, like foxes, raccoons, coyotes, and others. But fortunately for the turtle, when they are an adult, they can easily retreat to their shells to avoid predation. Now let's take a look at the yellow belly slider. Named because of their yellow plastron bottom shell and their behavior of hanging out on logs around a pond, river, or lake on a log sunbathing. When they are scared, they will slide right off the log. So there you go, yellow bellied slider. Just looking at this animal, its shell, skin, feet, and nails, what do you think this animal's preferred habitat is? If you said something that has lots of water, like a river, pond, or lake, you would be correct. The yellow belly slider is a semi-aquatic freshwater turtle, meaning it will mostly live in a body of water, but does need to come out of the water every so often to dry out. Looking at the yellow belly slider shell, it is less domed and more flattened. This makes this turtle more adapted to its water environment and makes it a better, more efficient swimmer. This is referred to as hydrodynamic. This type of shell allows the turtle to easily glide through the water when swimming. Looking at the legs, feet, and nails again, we can see even more adaptations that are perfect for a water environment. Their toes are webbed, and this webbing allows the turtle to push more water while it's swimming, making it a faster swimmer. Just like while we are swimming, we should cup our hands like this and avoid swimming with our hands open to make us go faster. Because yellow belly sliders cannot fully go into their shell to avoid a predator, they need to be fast swimmers. And fast swimmers need to be able to turn quickly, so he has a long tail to act as a rudder. His nails are long and sharp, best adapted for climbing out of water and onto a rock or log. When you see the yellow belly slider and the eastern box turtle side by side, can you see the similarities and differences of these turtles? The yellow belly slider is a semi-aquatic turtle and is adapted to being an agile swimmer who can quickly get away from a predator, whereas the eastern box turtle is a terrestrial turtle and is adapted to taking its time moving across land who can completely shut their shell if they are feeling threatened. And lastly, we are going to briefly look at a fully aquatic turtle, the loggerhead sea turtle. While you will not find this turtle in the freshwaters of Mecklenburg County, you can find them seasonally off the coast of North Carolina in the Atlantic Ocean. 
As you can see, this turtle is adapted for swimming across huge expanses of ocean. It has paddle-like feet instead of individual toes and nails. It has a hydrodynamic shell and a really cool camouflage called counter shading. Counter shading is an often found camouflage in the ocean. The top of the shell is dark so that if a predator is above the sea turtle, the predator will just think they are staring at the bottom of the ocean. The bottom of the shell is light colored, almost white, so that if the predator is below the sea turtle, they will think they are staring up into the sun or sky. How cool is that? You will also notice that sea turtles are huge. That is because they live in a huge space that takes a lot of energy to migrate across. Therefore, they need more stored fat to get across the huge expanse of the ocean. While they will occasionally eat jellies and aquatic plants, loggerheads have a specialized big head that allow them to crush whelks and other hard-shelled mollusks. Everything in the ocean is usually bigger due to the availability of space and the resources and has their own specific role that they play in the ecosystem. Loggerhead sea turtles will travel thousands of miles across the ocean to reach their breeding and nesting grounds. Unfortunately for sea turtles in general, due to ever-changing coasts, whether it's human or naturally impacted, they face a lot of challenges when it comes to breeding season. From humans, light pollution can cause hatchling sea turtles to crawl away from the ocean instead of towards it. And naturally, hurricanes and depositing sediments can change the shape of coasts or completely wipe them away, causing sea turtles to have to look for new grounds. All three of these animals are turtles and share common characteristics like having shells that are covered in scoots. But because they are all three different species or types of turtles, they are adapted for different ecosystems and they have different features such as shell shape, camouflage, feet, toes, and nails, size, and even their diet. We also learned that turtles, no matter if they are herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores, are all consumers in their different food webs.